Hey everybody, it is Scott the Steamroller Steam with winnersandwiners.com coming to you with the one and only Steamrollers free play of the day. College football style, everybody. As always, if you would be so kind, give us the thumbs up. Uh, if you're digging what we're doing, maybe you made a little money yesterday on the uh, on the Wyoming Cowboys. We'd appreciate it if you just pay us back with the thumb. That's it. Just hit that thumb. And uh, as always, if you haven't done so yet, we would uh, certainly... Certainly appreciate it if you'd consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. And of course, don't forget to check out winnersandwinders.com when you're doing all your handicap and putting together those great picks. There is no site in the world like winnersandwinders.com deep dives into every game every single day. While you're there, if you're looking for more of my picks, we got them for you. Just click on the Experts tab, click on my name, and you can get yourself signed up for the premium team. We do have some spots left on the bandwagon. Climb aboard. We'd love to have you. And uh, as always, if uh, you want to put down what you're playing, we love it. We love to see what picks you got going on there, uh, whether they're uh, sides, totals, uh, any kind of prop action, whatever it is you got cooked up for the games today. We got a full slate of college action. Put your best plays in. You make a profit, we'll give you the shout out. You get enough of them right, you will be the capper of the day. Uh, by the way, I'll drop a link to my premium plays in the description. So just uh, an easy link to get over there for those. All right. So let's take a look and see how we did yesterday. We did have Wyoming to take care of business off a over a, a Hawaii team. Uh, that was a game that was really never in doubt. I was able to get a couple of nice live plays in there. And, uh, yeah, everything worked out very well. Hope everybody was uh, able to back the Cowboys. And we're going to take a look today as we... Uh, uh, stay out west as the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers travel to BYU to take on the Fighting Mormons. There, the Cougars of BYU are a thirty and a half point favorite. And uh, get your axe out, guys. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna lay some wood right here. We really are uh, timber. You know the Hilltoppers. Uh, they are a dreadful team on offense. You might uh, used to them throwing the ball around, putting some points on the board, putting some yards under their belts. That none of that has happened this year. Uh, the quarterbacks are awful. Uh, their starter has already been benched once, but then he had to come back when the other guy was got hurt. Uh, they are uh, averaging about uh, somewhere in the neighborhood about 13 points a game. And uh, BYU, well, funny thing, they're giving up about 14 points a game. Uh, they've already taken care of two teams already out of the same conference that Western Kentucky is in. Uh, Zach Wilson, studly quarterback for BYU, is having a hell of a year, maybe maybe the the uh, Heisman f uh, favorite right now, depending on how long Trevor Lawrence is out. Uh, it, should, it should be a hell of a battle. I would I would almost guarantee you that uh, Zach Wilson is going to put up better stats than Trevor Lawrence. Of course, Trevor Lawrence is going to face a better schedule and all that. They're going to be you know, the number one team in the nation. So uh, all things being equal, Trevor Lawrence sits out just a week and comes back strong like he was. I'm sure he will win the Heisman, but Zach Wilson is uh, certainly going to be there should Lawrence stumble down the stretch. Uh, he is top five in the nation in uh, per completion percentage, total passing yards, and touchdown passes. He is just doing it all. They've got enough on the ground to keep the defense honest. Uh, this Western Kentucky defense, they're not terrible, but they get worn down. This is a team that just doesn't hang on to the ball. The defense is out there uh, after, after, after three plays, and they has to do it all again. And BYU, guys, style points counts for this team, being an independent uh, they've got to make every game count. They're still trying to hustle up uh, some games for later in the year, maybe looking at the Pac-12 uh, Pac if somebody will give them a game. But for now, you play the schedule you got, and when you got it, you run it up. And that's, I think, what's going to happen here in this one. Give me BYU minus 30 and a half over Western Kentucky. At the end of this game, you guys can join me. We'll pick up our winning tickets, and we will head back to the window. All right, uh, let's see how everybody else did for today. Quick quick note to everybody. Uh, I don't know if you knew this or not, but Hawaii did not travel back to Hawaii. They stayed in the States. Um, I did have uh, a number of people point that out to me um, in varying degrees of dickishness. Uh, most people, not dickish at all about it. A couple of people, extremely dickish about it. So to everybody, whether you were dickish or not, uh, my apologies. I just actually, I found that trend. And that was the uh, the main thing that I wanted to talk about. It really didn't mention travel because I know that a lot of times they do stay in the States. I figured with the virus, they'd try to stay in a closed environment as possible. We'd get back to the plane, back to school, 
didn't look it up, assumed, you know what happens, blah, blah, blah. My apologies, still worked out. So I am glad about that. I'm assuming I would have got a lot more shit had they lost. So anyway, uh, moving on, let's uh, let's uh, talk about what you guys did today, okay? And you did a very, very nice job. Uh, the astute aardvark, he got juiced on the day. Uh, Mike and Lou, uh, he went uh, one and zero, oh, kind of a kind of a, a trepidatious tail there. He was worried because all the money was coming in on Wyoming, and uh, I'm with you. I'm with you, man. I I uh, I like to fade that public money as much as possible, but this time in this case, we were both on the right side, and it worked out. He went one and zero oh, plus one hundred. Eric Catherine went two and one plus ninety. Uh, Simone Lagunas uh, went one and zero oh, plus one hundred. Alan Hensley. He's back, baby. Uh, he went three and one, plus one ninety. I'm guessing he didn't put odds in there. Then some things never change. Um, and dude, I couldn't find Astra. There's like, there's four Astra teams. There's Hungarian Astra. There's Romanian Astra. There's Astra one, Astra two. Uh, none of them look like they played. I, I don't know. So tell me how you did. Maybe you won. You might. You might even have been capper the day. So if I if I if I screw you that out of that honor, I apologize in advance. All right. But for now. Since I can't find Astro and I don't know what the other one's paid, I'm going to give it to for for, for to Francisco Hernandez. Francisco went two and zero on the day, plus two hundred. That's a clean sheet. Francisco Hernandez, congratulations, my friend. You are our capper of the day. Well done, sir. Thanks for everybody for putting their plays in. Put them in today too. I'd love to see them. If they're good enough, something I get a little excited about. Hell, I might even tell you. Uh, thanks again for watching. Appreciate it as always. Apologies about Hawaii staying. I'm pretty sure they're back now, though, so everything's cool. Uh, you guys take care. Have a great day. Hope every one of those, hope every one of those tickets in your pocket turns into cash money back at the window. Uh, you guys, uh, as always, appreciate your views, appreciate you watching, appreciate the likes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Hey, man, come back and do it again tomorrow. We'll be right here, same bat time, same bat channel. You guys have a great day. See you.